Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at home full body Pilates workout. In today's routine, we're gonna be sculpting our abs, arms, glutes, and thighs. We're also gonna be warming up and cooling down. I'm going to be using a set of ankle weights for some of the exercises. You can do this entire workout with weight or without, and you're still going to feel the challenge and the burn in those muscles. If at any point you're using the ankle weights and the weight gets to be too much, you're losing good form, simply slip them off and carry on without them. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get right into our warm up. So we're going to start off either standing, kneeling, or in a cross leg position. And we're just going to begin with some neck stretches. So the hands are by the sides. We're gonna to look to the right, inhaling to come to the center and exhale, look to the left, stretching through the side of the neck, sitting or standing up really nice and tall, inhale and exhale. Keep the chin parallel with the floor as you stretch through the side of the neck, inhale to center, and exhale, switch sides. Draw the shoulders down as you do so. And breathe the air out of the lungs. Last one. Nicely done and back to center. Now we're going to circle the arms. We're gonna circle them backwards, reach and stretch, and then circle them forwards. Good. Reach and stretch, circle those arms back, opening through the chest and then bring them forward, mobilizing the shoulders. <sighs> nice, reaching and lengthening through those fingertips as you roll backwards and forwards. Keep the spine nice and tall. Try not to arch the spine as you bring those arms back. Good, we've got three. Reach and stretch and two. Lengthen through those arms. And last one, lower down. Amazing work. I'm gonna take a side view for this. You can stay facing forward. I'm coming onto my knees. Again, you can be standing if that's more comfortable for you. Hands are down on the thighs. We're inhaling here and we're exhaling to rotate, opening to one side, looking out over the shoulder and then back to center and exhale, rotate and stretch back with the opposite arm. So the spine is really nice and tall here. We're growing up taller through the crown of the head as we rotate and twist, warming up the spine here, continuing to mobilize those shoulders and stretch through the neck for two. And last one, each side, reach and stretch and back to center reach and stretch and back to center. Amazing. Now from here, we're going to come down onto the mat, take the knees nice and wide, big toes come together. We're going to drop the belly, roll the shoulders down and back, arching the spine. And then we're going to push the mat away, scooping the belly in, round through the spine and sink back into child's pose, lengthening through those arms. Repeat, we're coming forward dropping the belly, arching, and then pushing the mat away, scooping the belly in, and rounding back to your child's pose. Come forward, spine is in neutral. Drop the belly, look up, stretching the spine, scoop the belly in, and sink back onto those heels. Two more, coming forward, dropping, rounding, push the mat away, and stretch down through that tailbone. Last one, come forward, drop the belly, gaze comes up, really scoop those abs in and sink back into your child's pose. Slide those hands a little further down the mat, draw the armpits down toward the floor and let's take a few deep breaths here, breathing in through the nose, filling the back of the rib cage and slowly out through pursed lips. <sighs> Getting into that Pilates breath. One more breath like this, really sinking into the stretch. <sighs> Amazing work. Okay, let's return to a kneeling position. Again, you can be standing for this. I'm gonna take hold of my ankle weights now. I'm going to be kneeling. If you are stood, make sure you're stood with your 
uh, feet hip distance apart. I'm going to slip the ankle weights just onto the hands here to cuff them. You can put them onto your wrists if that's more comfortable. And if you're not using right weight, you've got long fingers. Okay, from here, we're going to take the arms overhead, reaching and stretching, lengthening up toward the ceiling. Crown of the head is lifting toward the ceiling, chin is parallel with the floor. We're going to pull the elbows down, then bring the arms back up. Open arm, lower, palms facing forward, and lift back up. Repeat, pull down, grow up tall through the crown of the head. Lift, and then open those arms nice and wide, reaching in opposite directions. Good, repeat, pull down, drawing the shoulder blades together, and then open, lift, sweeping the arms up, and pulling down. Start to bring energy into the body here. Really engage the core as you breathe out to pull down, lengthening through the spine. Nicely done. Good. Lifting and lengthening, feeling that opening in the chest and the contraction of those upper back muscles as you draw those shoulder blades down. Nice work. We've got four. And three, try not to drop the chin here. Last two, really lift those arms up nice and high. And final one, lift and pull it down. Amazing work. Okay, from here, we're going to get into some bicep work. So I'm actually gonna turn in this direction so that you can see, I'm going to Bring the arms up to shoulder height. Palms are facing in toward each other. So from here, we're gonna pull the thumbs back toward the shoulders, keeping those upper arms at shoulder height. Contracting the biceps twice, two bicep curls. Then I'm gonna lift the right arm, lower to shoulder height. Lift the left arm, lower to shoulder height. Double bicep curl. Good, keeping those upper arms strong and lifted. Good two, back to the shoulders, back to the shoulders, great. Belly to spine here, try not to lean, keep the spine upright, pull back and pull back. Tension on those biceps as you bring the thumbs toward the shoulders. Good, gaze is straight ahead, arms are long and strong, you're doing great. Really pull your belly to spine as you pull those thumbs towards your shoulders. Good, lift and lengthen, pull back. You should start to feel the work in those shoulders, in those biceps. I want you to really focus on keeping your neck elongated, keeping those shoulders down away from your ears. Good. We've got two more sets, lift, lift, bicep curl, Bicep curl, let's do one more. Lift, lift, bicep curl, bicep curl. Amazing work, lower those arms down. I'm gonna turn again to face you. We're going to work into the chest muscles here. So standing or kneeling or cross leg, the spine is nice and tall. We're lengthening out through those fingers. Shoulders are down away from the ears. We're gonna cross the right arm over the left open, cross the left arm over the right, open. Then we're switching so the palms are facing up, right over left, left over right, and switch. Over, over, palms facing down, palms facing up, over, and over. So you're working your arms here and your chest muscles. So as those arms cross, I really want you to contract those chest muscles. Good, squeezing them together. Keep that neck nice and long. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. <sighs> Breathe out to cross over. One, two, switch it up. Palms facing up and two. Nice work. <sighs> Arms are on fire here. Chest is working hard. Good. <sighs> Give it all you've got. Really squeeze those muscles. 
Good, we've got two more sets. One, two, switch it up. One, and two. Bring the arms out to the sides and lower down, nice work. Okay, now we're gonna come down onto the mat. So we're going to lower down onto the belly, taking the arms out nice and long. If this ever gets too much with the weights, you can just slip them off. Okay, so we're elongating through the spine. The legs are about hip distance apart. Gaze is on the mat, so I'm just sort of hovering the chest above the floor, never looking up like that, because that'll strain the neck. Find length out through the crown of your head. We're going to lift the right arm and lower, lift the left arm and lower, working into those shoulders. Switching sides, lifting and lowering, keeping that chest hovering above the floor. If it's too much with the chest hovering, I'd like you to lower your forehead down to the mat. Alternating sides. Now, if you wanna step up the intensity here, I'd like you to lift opposite leg as you lift the arm. So as we lift the right arm, we're lifting the left leg. As we lift the left arm, we're lifting the right leg. Good, switching from side to side. A slow swim, contracting the glutes, contracting the shoulders as you lift and lower. If it's too much with the leg lift, simply eliminate it and focus on the upper body work. Good. Lengthen through the fingers, lengthen through the toes. Let's go five, four, lift a bit higher. For three, contracting those muscles, two, and final one, nice work. Now we're gonna float the arms and the legs together at the same time and we're gonna hold, lift a little higher for 10, nine, eight, lengthen through those toes and fingers, five, four, three, two, and one, nice hold, lower down. Great work. Now we're going to sweep those arms back so that the palms are facing in toward each other. The little fingers are facing up toward the ceiling. I want you to lift through that chest, engage the backs of the arms and pulse. Five, four, squeeze the backs of the arms. Two and one, bring the arms forward and lower down. Good, sweep the arms back, lift a little higher. Pulse for five, four, three, two and one. Sweep the arms forward and lower, good. Lift up, come back. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Now we're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna do, come up for 10 pulses. So as you pulse up, I really want you to squeeze the backs of those arms. I'm just gonna move my hair here. It's annoying me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come back, hold those arms out nice and long, and press the palms together for 10, nine, eight, seven. Contracting those upper back muscles, squeezing the backs of the arms, two and one, and straighten and lower, good. Repeat, lift up, bring those arms back, squeeze those palms toward each other, seven, six, five. Keep lengthening out through the crown of the head, two and one, come forward. Good work, I know these burn last two sets. I want you to really focus on the triceps here. Connect with the backs of the arms, squeeze. Good, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Come forward and lower down. Good, last set. Give it all you've got with that muscle contraction. Pull back, upper back working here. Triceps working, Whew. lift the chest a little higher if you can. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and hold, squeeze palms toward each other for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, amazing work. I've just slipped off my ankle weights. And now I'm just gonna stretch out the shoulders here in a child's pose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as we lengthen through the spine. Amazing work. Okay, from here we're going to put the weight onto those ankles. Again, you can do this weightless. And we're going to move into our 
lower body sequence. So I'd like you to make sure those weights are secure if you're using them. Breathing as you do so, regulating the breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Coming down onto the side body, nice and long. Here we want the hip stacked, knees stacked, ankle stacked. One hand is down on the mat for support. We're gonna pick those ankles and legs up and bring them forward slightly so that we're in a gentle pike. One hand is on the mat. We've got the head supported on the hand or on the outstretched arm. We're lifting the top leg and lowering, lifting and lowering. Simple leg lifts here to start off. Starting to activate the leg muscles pointing through the toe, switching on the thighs, the calf. Good. Bottom leg is switched on here as well for stability. Lifting and lowering for four, three, two, nice long neck, and one, good work. Now we're gonna go into some rainbow taps here. So we're going to tap that front leg, that top leg forward, and then backward. Tap forward and backward. Good, for three, four, lift up and over, for five, Amazing work. And six, nice. Seven, belly to spine. Last two. And final one. And legs together, good. Really engage that core. We're going to lift the top leg up. We're gonna tap the knee down toward the mat and then extend the leg. Tap the toe forward backward, back to center, bend, tap, extend, repeat. Forward, backward, over, tap, extend. Forward, backward, center, tap, extend. Good work, forward, backward, to center, tap the knee, extend, pointing hard through the toes as you do so. Good. Breathe, amazing work. Really kick out as you extend that leg. Try to find as much balance and stability here as possible by engaging your core. Good. Let's go three more sets. Woo, it's tough with those ankle weights. It'd be tough even without them. Last set. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears and lengthen nicely done, lower that leg, amazing. Now from here, we're gonna make a bridge with that top leg to move it out of the way so we can focus on our lower leg. You can either put the foot in front or behind, whatever's more comfortable for you. We're going to lift that lower leg and then just simple leg lifts here to start off to really switch on and warm up those inner thigh muscles. Squeeze the inner thigh to lift. Good. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Now we're gonna build on from that. We're gonna lift the top leg, and at the top of the lift, we're pulsing one, two, three. Lower either all the way down to the mat, or just hover the leg for a little bit more of a challenge above the floor. One, two, three lower or just hover one two three lower or just hover nice work one two three amazing really squeezing those inner thigh muscles two and three good halfway there five more sets one two and three you're doing great keep those inner thigh muscles switched on little pulses working the inside of the leg one, two, three, belly to spine, shoulders relaxed. Last set, two and three, hold for five, four, three, two, and one, lower leg down. Bring legs together, nice work on that side. We're gonna come over and do the other side now. So get nice and long on your mat, supporting your head. 
on your hand or your outstretched arm. We're going to stretch out long, bring the legs up and move them forward into a pike position. And then we're lifting and lowering that top leg, finding length out through that big toe, squeezing the muscles in the top leg as well as in the lower leg so that you're not rocking around in the torso as you lift and lower that leg. Good, switching our focus onto connecting with this side of the body now. Good, glutes, thighs, hips, calves. We've got four, three, two, and one. Nice, now tapping forward and backward. Tapping forward, really plugging belly in here. It's important for stability. Good. Lift that leg up and over. Amazing work. Halfway there. We've got five. Lengthening out through that big toe. Four. Belly to spine. Three. Nice, long, relaxed neck. Two. You're doing great. And last one. And back to center. Okay. Lift that top leg now. Tap the knee down. Extend forward, backward, center, repeat. Good, forward, backward, center, repeat. Keep those shoulders relaxed. I know as we're concentrating on this lower body work, sometimes that tension can build up in those shoulders. Good, inhaling and exhaling, lengthening and stretching as we strengthen. Good, elongating those muscles, building strength and stability. <sighs> tap, tap, and extend. Tap, tap, and extend. Last set. Center, extend, and hold. Lower down. Nice work, okay. From here, we're making that bridge either behind or in front of the lower leg, and we're going into those inner thigh lifts. <sighs> Squeezing the inner thigh muscles, pointing through the toes, lengthening through the leg as we lift and lower. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one lower, either all the way down to the mat or just hover for a little bit more of a challenge. One, two, three, and lower. Lift, two, three, and lower. One, two, three, lower down, good work. For four, shoulders relaxed, and five. Good, triple pulse up. <sighs> Breathe through it, I know these are tough. Inner thighs on fire. Last three sets, two, three, keep lengthening through the leg, pulse, 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 and last set, lift, 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 and lower down, amazing work. Now we're going to focus on the gluteus maximus muscle. So we're going to come down onto our forearms, or you can be up on your palms if that's more comfortable for you. I'm going to save my wrists and come down onto those forearms. Forearms are either parallel or your hands are interlaced like mine. If you're down on your forearms, you want your elbows below your shoulders. And if you're on your palms, you want your wrists below your shoulders. Gently tuck your tailbone so that your spine is nice and long. We're going to bend the knee and inhale here and exhale, extend, tap, Extend, tap, extend, good. Tap the knee and extend, good. So as you extend, I want you to pull your belly button in towards your spine and really focus on the glutes and the hamstrings. You'll feel this in the calf muscle as well if you're pointing hard through the toe. Good, last one. Now we're going to tap, extend, lower, lift, lower, lift, tap, extend, lower, lift, 
lower lift, plugging navel in toward the spine to protect the low back. As you lower and lift, squeeze the glutes, lower and lift. Nice work. Shoulders down away from the ears. Ooh, lost my sequence there. Lower lift, lower lift. Good, tap, extend, lower lift, lower lift. Hard to talk and think about this sequence at the same time. It takes a bit of coordination. So tap, extend, lower lift, lower lift. Back into it, there we go. Good. Two more sets. Lower lift, lower lift. Last set, feeling it in those hamstrings and glutes. Amazing work. Now, we're going to lower the leg down to the mat. Set those shoulders down away from your ears if they're creeping up. And we're gonna lift one, two, three pulses and lower. Lift one, two, three and lower. Lift two, three and lower. Lift it up, one, two, three and lower. One, two, three, squeeze the glutes. Lengthen through the big toe. Make sure you're not overarching in the spine. You've got that core engaged. Three more sets. Good work, you can do it. Two, and last set. One, two, and three. Lower down. Take the knees nice and wide and stretch back into a child's pose, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth for three, two, and one. Nice work. You can stay facing in that direction or you can switch sides. I'm gonna switch over to this side, focusing on the opposite leg now. Setting ourselves up, elbows or wrists under shoulders, spine nice and long, bend at the knee, tap and extend. Tap, extend, really square your hips with the mat. Full extension with the leg before tapping the knee down. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs as you extend. Good, for three and two. Lengthen out through that big toe and one. Good, now repeating. Extend, lower lift, lower lift. Tap, extend, lower lift, lower lift. Good, breathe into it. Relax those shoulders, lengthen through the neck. Whew. Again, every time I start talking about something else with this one, I lose my rhythm. So just keep going. Good. We've got five more. Bend, extend, lower lift, lower lift. You're doing great. Three more sets. Lower lift, lower lift. Last two. Lift, lift, squeeze the glutes. Last one. Nicely done. Now lower that leg down to the mat, that big toe down to the mat rather. And then we're gonna lift one, two, three, and lower. Lift one, two, three, and lower. Lift two, three, and lower. Belly to spine, one, two, three, and lower. You're doing great. I know it burns final push here with this lower body work. Good. One, two, three, and lower. Three more sets. Good, for two. Good, engage the core. Last one, two, three, and lower it down. Take those knees nice and wide and stretch it back for five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. Whew. Okay, we're gonna go into our ab sequence here. So I would like you to roll down onto your mat. I'm gonna leave my ankle weights on my ankles for this. If they get too much or if you prefer to do it weightless, please feel free to do so. Okay, interlacing the fingers, taking them behind the head. Elbows are nice and wide. We're gonna inhale here and as we exhale, we're going to Actually, sorry, we're gonna extend the right leg out long to begin with, so the left knee is bent. Then we're inhaling here. 
And as we exhale, we're bringing the knee back to a bent position as we crunch up. Good, now extend the left leg and curl and crunch up, sliding the heel below the knee, alternating sides. Good, inhale and exhale, alternating, one leg extending and then bending as we crunch up. Now as we crunch up and bend the knee, we want to be really connecting with those abs. So drawing the belly button tightly in toward the spine, flattening the low back down to the mat, keeping those elbows nice and wide. Good, holding for a split second at the top of the crunch and then lowering down and extending the leg. Let's go five. Four, cinching your belly button in towards your spine for three and two, keep it up. And final one, nicely done. Relax head, neck and shoulders down for a moment. We're going to bring the right knee in toward the chest, right hand around the shin, left hand just under the knee. We're going to extend the opposite leg out long. Inhale here and exhale to switch pulling the belly button in toward the spine and switch and switch. So you're lengthening through one leg as you hug the opposite knee in toward the chest. And as you hug that knee in, you're flattening your abdominal wall down toward your spine. You want to pick up the intensity, bring head, neck and shoulders up, resting your head on top of your shoulders, full extension with that leg pointing hard through the toe. Good. Really contracting that core with every exhale. Good. Now we're going to hold here and we're going to pick up the pace. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. Lower head, neck, and shoulders down to the mat. Great job. We're now going to go into a double leg stretch. We'll start off with head, neck, and shoulders down and add them at a crunch if we feel comfortable to do so. So we're going to extend arms and legs. Inhale and exhale, pulling the navel in toward the spine. Inhale, stretch, squeezing legs together. Exhale, draw the limbs back into the body. Inhale and exhale, belly to spine as we bring the legs in. Good, now if you want to peel up into your crunch position, you can with your head resting on top of your shoulders. Make sure that there's no strain in the neck. So your gaze is looking out between those inner thighs. Head is on top of the shoulders. If that's too much, lower head, neck and shoulders down. It's extra challenging with those weights. So make sure that you're listening to your body and feeling it in the right places, which is those abdominals. Good, inhale and exhale for four, three, two, reach and bring it in. And last one and relax it down. Keep those knees hugged in for five, four, three, two, and one. Soften feet down to the floor. Take your hands behind your head. We're going to inhale here and exhale. Bring the elbow toward the knee. Extend the leg, bend and lower. Switch sides. Bring it in, cross over, extend, bend and lower. Back to center and then crossing over. Good, lower and then lift that shoulder blade up off the floor, bringing that elbow up to meet the knee. Amazing work, cross it over, extend, bend and lower. Lift, extend, bend and lower. Getting deep into those obliques here. <sighs> nice work. Last set, lift, extend, bend, and lower. 
Now we're going to go into the full version of crisscross. You have the option here of doing this version where you're keeping your feet down on the floor, or you can come into the full version of crisscross with one leg extended, other leg bent in. Let's go. Good. Cross over, pressing low back into the mat, resting the head in the hands, stretching and lengthening through the toes if you're extending those legs. Good. Rotating around the rib cage, tightening the waistline. Let's go five, four, three, two, nice work, and one. Bring the knees in. Final exercise here for the abs. I'd like you to bring the feet down onto the floor. Insides of the feet are glued together. The knees are splayed out to the sides. We're gonna take our hands behind our head and go into either, well, I'll show you a couple of different levels here. Okay, easiest option, although still challenging, is that we're gonna bring the knees and the elbows together and then lower, double crunch. Good, so you're either there, or you might wanna add on to this in terms of level of challenge by coming in, extending, squeezing the legs out long, coming in again to tap, and then lowering. So either just moving up and down or adding this extension, extend, tap, and lower. So bringing the elbows and the knees together, really drawing the belly button in toward the spine. Should feel it in those abs. Good, this is tough, but super effective. Nice work. Tap, tap, and lower, good. Lift, extend, tap, and lower. Three more sets. You can do it. So close to the finish line. Last two sets. Last set. Lift, extend. Now we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Lower the feet down to the floor. Roll over onto your stomach. Take your hands on either side of your shoulders. You can come up like this into your cobra or all the way up onto those palms for your stretch here. Breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth for five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to remove the ankle weights now. Feels good to take them off. <laughs> okay. Now from here, we're in an all fours position. We're gonna bring the right foot between the hands and stretch the left leg out long behind. Sinking into a hip stretch. I'd like you to push, gently push the left hip forward, getting deep into the hip flexor. Good, regulating the breath as we do so, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, softening the shoulders. Last breath here. Lower hands to the mat, bring the right knee down, bring the left foot behind, between the hands and stretch that right leg out long behind, interlacing the fingers, taking them onto the thigh and just gently pushing that right hip forward elongating through the spine as you do so. <sighs> Breathing deeply as we cool it right down. <sighs> Push that hip forward just a little bit more. Final breath. <sighs> Nicely done. Lower the knee down. Step back into plank and then fold the left leg under the body. Sitting up nice and tall into a pigeon pose. If you feel more comfortable, you can um, 
fold over that leg and bring your chest down toward the floor. Whatever feels better, whatever your body needs right now. Really nice and long through the neck. We're gonna, if you're up in your upright position, we'll stretch out the neck a little bit here by looking over the right shoulder. Inhale to center and exhale gently, looking out over the left shoulder. Good, back to center. Step back into your plank, fold your right leg under your body, stretching out those glutes and hips. You can feel this into the thighs as well. Folding over if that feels comfortable for you or remaining up nice and tall. You can feel a little bit of a stretch in those abdominals here too especially after we just worked them so hard. Good, for four, and three, and two, and one. Bring yourself into a cross leg position. From here, we're going to take the right hand down toward the mat and reach and stretch up and over with that left arm, lengthening through the spine, keep the chest open here for three, two, and one. Whew, shaking. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, lifting up and over with that right arm, keeping the chest open here. Reach a bit further for three, and two, and one. Recenter. Bring the soles of the feet together, hinge forward. Take your hands on your knees if that feels comfortable and just apply a tiny little bit of pressure so that you can really open up through those hips and stretch the inner thighs deeply. For four, three, two, and one. Bring the feet forward on the mat. Take the hands by the sides, reach back and just open through the chest, stretching the shoulders, arching the spine. Reach and stretch for three, two, and one. Good. You can return to your cross leg position and we're going to roll out the shoulders to finish off here. So lift your shoulders up by your ears, inhale and exhale to roll them down and back for three and two, melting away tension and final one. Amazing work. We are done. That was really challenging. I hope you felt it in all your major muscle groups. I know I did and I hope you enjoyed that cool down and stretch. Amazing work. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.